Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be looking at some Victorinox knives. And I really love Victorinox knives. And to me, in particular, Victorinox knives act as auxiliary tools or companion tools to my main multi-tool, which is the Leatherman Search. And today I brought out four different models to highlight what I think would be the absolute perfect companion knife for my Leatherman Search. So the first one we have here is the Pioneer X. And we're going to flip these out here. So the Pioneer X comes with this blade. Uh, it has the awl that come on the Alox models, which I love this awl. Works great. as The reason I like this is because it works really great as an awl itself or a reamer, but it also works fantastic as a clamshell package opener, which we've demonstrated in different videos where the, the sharp point on here plus the cutting edge of that, of that reamer really it allow you to slice into clamshell packaging really easily. And so it just works fantastic in that aspect. Uh, the next tool that we have on here is the scissors. And the one thing I always forget about the Pioneer X is that the nail nick is on opposite side of where you would find it on most knives. But nonetheless, the scissors on the Victorinox knives are probably hands down the best multi-tool scissors out there. They just work fantastic. Though some people do complain that the spring has a tendency to break off, but they are replaceable and they're not hard to replace. So I really don't mind uh, this one, uh, this, this scissor on Victorinox knives. It just work fantastic. They're ultra sharp. They cut through almost anything you can imagine. Really great tool to have on there. And then with the other two tools on here, they're more of their standard tools. So you have your dual screwdrivers, bottle cap lifter, can opener, and then wire stripper down here. This is a great tool in and of itself. Next one that we're going to look at is electrician. Now, what difference from the electrician? It also has the awl. It also has the blade. It also has the, the combination tool here with the driver, can, uh, bottle cap lifter, and wire stripper. But what it doesn't, excuse me, what it does include is this blade, which works as a draw cut blade and as a cable uh, sheath cutting blade. So this is great for if you got an extension cord, you want to cut the rubber off the end of it, you're redoing it, replacing an end, something like that. That curved blade is absolutely fantastic for that. And it's just, it, I love that particular blade. It works incredibly, incredibly well. The next tool that we have here is the Swiss Army 2, or I think this one's also called the Harvester. Now, this one does not include the awl. It's, it's a single layer knife, which make it uh, very, very pocket friendly, but uh, it has the main blade and then it has the hawkbill blade, which again kind of serves as an electrician's blade as well. There's been times where this hawkbill blade would have come in extremely handy for me as well. And then the last one that we have is the cadet. Now, the reason I brought the cadet out here is because this is a little bit smaller of a knife than the other three. The Cadet in its A-Locks form is just fantastic. The problem with the Cadet is that they don't have a Cadet X. And from what I understand, years ago, they, they, the machine that, that manufactures or makes the scissors for this style or this size of knife uh, was broken. And so they have never replaced it or never rebuilt it. Now, I don't know that entirely to be true, but that's what I've heard from other people. So I really like the Cadet. Uh, for its size it's it's set up a little bit differently the cadet has more uh one thing i do like about the cadet that it has the fingernail file and fingernail cleaner on it which makes it kind of more of a gentleman's carry if you will uh and then the other two implements are identical to those of the of the uh, pioneer x except that they're a little bit smaller in size than what you'll find on these so let me go ahead and pop this open real quick and you get an idea so while they are I, I, uh, the same tool, they're just, uh, they vary in size a little bit. So I don't know that the can opener on this works any better than what the larger one was uh, does. Uh, it's not something I've really had the need to try out. Maybe at some point I will, but uh, they're basically the same tools, just different sizes. Now, the reason I brought all of these out here is because there are things on every one of these knives. Now, I've made an attempt at having my own uh, Victorinox, custom Victorinox made. And while I really like the way it's put together, I think that I could do without the scale tools. It's not something that I use often. And so the perfect companion tool for me would be the size of the Pioneer X, which would include the awl, would include the extra blade because they're in the same layer. The next tool that I would really like on there is the scissors. 
And then the last two tools are kind of redundant when you're talking about the Leatherman Surge. Of course, the scissors are too, but that would free me up in order to have uh, to be able to replace the scissors on the Leatherman Surge with something different to make it more. Uh, when you're talking about a complete package with this Leatherman Surge plus the companion knife to really uh, increase its functionality. So uh, these two tools are the two that I would like to get rid of. And it would be for this blade and for this blade, one on either side. If we could, if, if Victorinox made this particular knife where it did have the all, the knife, the scissors, and these two blades in replacement of these uh, two implements, that would be an almost perfect companion knife for me. The only exception is I would like it in the cadet size. Now that would be absolutely ideal. In fact, I could actually go without the scissors if it included those four tools. If it had, if it had the all, the knife blade, which are in the same layer, and then a second layer with these two blades in the cadet size, that would be a companion knife that I would immediately buy, probably five of them immediately, uh, to complement my Surge. I could actually go without the scissors because the Surge does has, have a very good set of scissors. Now, everybody's got their own taste and their own style. I'd like to hear what you guys think. What would be the companion knife that would the, the setup for a companion knife that would best suit your EDC multi-tool of choice. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.